There's something new in the air, something so unique and exciting, it's going to revolutionize the aircraft industry, the aircraft you've dreamed of and waited for. It's the 447 Commander by Air Command Manufacturing. No other aircraft on the market today boasts the strength, the reliability, the performance, the materials, and the quality of workmanship you want, or more importantly, demand. The 447 Commander features impressive performance statistics, such as a climb rate of 1,000 feet per minute, the capability of flying sideways, backwards, descending vertically under full control, landing at zero ground speed, handling winds up to 40 miles per hour, and it will not stall. But let's take a look at how it all began. Gyroplane development started in the 1900s. The first working model flew in 1923 and was designed by a Spanish inventor named De La Sierva but it was plagued with several stability problems which were finally solved in 1925. An American named Harold Pitcairn later bought the production rights to the De La Sierra gyroplane and made a few modest changes. Pitcairn's PCA-2 was a very good performer. It carried the mail and was used to ferry news photographers to remote sites. It also set many aviation records, the most famous by Amelia Earhart, who flew the aircraft to an altitude of 18,450 feet on April the 8th of 1931. Due to the bulkiness and expense of the craft, gyroplanes never caught on with the public and development was all but abandoned. That is, until 1953, when Dr. Igor Benson rescued the idle gyroplane with his gyrocopter. Benson's gyrocopter proved that the gyroplane was a reliable and safe aircraft. But the public still shied away mainly due to the noise and inefficiency of the design, which made the performance and operating costs unattractive to the average consumer. Until now. After years of research and development, Dennis Fetters, president of Air Command Manufacturing, came up with a breakthrough design utilizing space-age materials and the latest in aviation technology. The result? is the 447 Commander, which blows away the competition with a price, performance, safety, and style never before seen in the ultralight or aircraft market. Now, sit back and watch it fly.
Let's take a closer look at this amazing aircraft. In order to appreciate the finer points of this aircraft, you must first have an understanding of what makes a gyroplane fly. A gyroplane uses a fixed pitch, freewheeling rotor for lift. A pusher engine provides forward thrust, and the relative wind going through the rotor blades gets them turning until they auto-rotate fast enough to produce lift. This constant auto-rotation is what makes the 447 Commander one of the safest aircraft ever made. In the event of an engine failure, you simply glide to a landing. And because it can descend vertically, it will land in tight places no fixed-wing aircraft could ever even dream of. Turning is accomplished by a pedal-actuated rudder, just like an airplane. And pitch is controlled by actually moving the plane of the whirling rotor up or down with a floor-mounted center stick. The result of all this is a super stable aircraft which is impossible to stall. The 447 Commander utilizes a high-tech efficient laminar flow rotor made of aluminum, fiberglass, carbon fiber, and epoxy. It spans 23 feet with a blade core of 8 inches, obtaining an in-flight speed of 300 RPM. This composition makes for one of the strongest rotors in the industry. The main rotor bearing can support a thrust load of up to 55,000 pounds before failure and is designed to operate at 9,000 RPM. Because it is only driven to 300 RPM, it will virtually last a lifetime.